Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Working Man Ron Doyle. Have you all ever rented a skid loader like I have from Equipment Share or any rental yard? Come to find out, there is no backup camera in it. That is a backup beeper. Uh, fearing for the safety of everyone around and the equipment that you're operating, that's not yours. You go to the store and you look for options. I bought a rear view backup mirror. And this is a Copeland brand. As you can see on the box, it is a Copeland brand 98312. Let me take you in the skid loader, show you how this works. With the lack of visibility that skid loaders have, you see in the tube goes across the back, you're very restricted on what you can see behind you. And if you're doing a lot of back dragging, like I am, it can be a problem. If you look at the skid loader, this skid loader is a stripped down version. There is no backup monitor. Basic, uh, basic function control key start, ISO, H pattern can selector, but you do not see any backup monitor. You do not see a rear backup mirror up here in anywhere. Let's fix that. We're gonna be mounting this rear view camera, or rear view mirror right here. The width on this uh, overhead window grid for safety is one and a quarter inches. Get you on a better view, and we'll get her done. Now to mount this uh, Copeland brand uh, rear view uh, convex mirror, we're gonna use the Appropriate parts to grab this inch and a quarter grid. Take the, uh, the ball and the socket, put them together. And you want to be careful, squeeze this, not drop your mirror and break it. And get seven years of bad luck. I'm going to choose to put the nuts on the outside. Basically, spin this around. Take this very carefully, lock this over your, your mirror. Take a 532nd Allen wrench. Try not get your uh, try not get your mirror all gooey from your nasty fingerprints. Try not to break your mirror as you're doing it. That'd be a bad day. Center your mirror up. Apologize for the airplane. I can't call airport tell them to stop plot flights for my amateur video production gonna be a little tight getting into this back corner long handled uh, Allen would be a lot better in this installation now the tighter you tighten these nylocks the tighter that ball socket gets so you want to be very careful about how you tighten this it seems about right now, during the whole time of operation, the skid loader, this didn't move around a whole lot, and it works great. As you can see, this is not the uh, perfect situation because of the visibility restrictions that you have with the uh, crossbar, cross tube going in the back of the skid loader, and of course your nugget, which is right in the middle with the knucklehead holding the camera. But you can see there is a lot of visibility that you could utilize for safety. I uh, really think this is an appealing option if you don't have a rear view monitoring system. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they sell these uh, rear view mirrors uh, on Amazon. Uh, you can find it on the web. But um, you're gonna want to buy this if you're doing the installation like I did on the T770 and the uh, overhead grid window is roughly the same as yours. Uh, you're going to want to buy the three-piece combo kit and um, basically the reason why is these two components, these two pieces right here, come with the rear view mirror. Uh, and if you, buy, if you buy this kit by itself, you will not get these two, these two pieces. And the way that I can tell you that, and I know that for sure, if you look at these instructions for this rear view mirror, this is designed for a UTV. You get these components, which these are the, uh, the socket part and the bolts and the nylock nuts. Uh, but you do not see the components, those two clips that you need. Those two clips are number 10 from the side view mirrors. Number 10 and number 10. You're not using number 9 unless your, your grid is wider and you're having a problem grasping onto it. These are these are clip number nine. 
and by the time you put these together you're gonna have you're gonna have too wide of a span for the overhead grid system on your uh, skid loader windows so that's why I chose chose uh, these clips from this particular kit this particular kit is a Copeland Outdoors it's a universal UTV kit a side and rear view mirror combo kit uh, model number 98 312 98312 they can be found on the web this one was bought from tractor supply see for delaware on clearance for 60 bucks uh well worth the investment of uh putting this mirror on a rental machine i saved myself from hitting a tree and also hitting a vehicle the gentleman that is working with me on this project backed up in his truck pulled up behind me in his pickup truck i seen him in the rear view mirror that $60 that I paid for this is well worth the safety on this kid later. I would advise you all to do the same. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the video of installing the rear view Copeland mirror, UTV mirror combination kit that you can do for your skid loader. And if it's not your skid loader, it's your rental. But uh, highly recommended product from working man Ron Doyle. If you like the videos, I'd greatly appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel for future videos on things electricians do. I wish you all a wonderful and blessed day. Till the next time, stay safe.